All right, all right. Yes, we are live uh, everywhere here on uh, our webinar platform and uh, also on our SME Banking TV for other viewers that are watching us right now on the YouTube channel. If you would like to ask question to our speaker, please register by the link that you see in the stream descriptions to have a possibility to ask a question and participate uh, in the discussion. Welcome to our webinar. My name is Ulana Grunyuk. I'm CEE Director at the SM Banking Club, and I will be a host today. And uh, today we will talk uh, about omnichannel approach as the continuation of the CRM topic. And uh, my guest today is Yefrasima Zagovic, Head of Sales at Logate, company from Montenegro that provides CRM solutions. Welcome, Yefrasima. Thank you, Alina, and uh, thank uh, all of you uh, for joining Alina and me today. Uh, as uh, you already said, this is like just the second episode of our CRM, this customer experience, customer approach uh, story that we started like at the end of last year. So uh, I'm uh, very glad to, to uh, be here today and to be able to share our experience regarding this uh, establishing of omni-channel uh, communication and managing omni-channel communication uh, with uh, both our and your clients. So this is a topic that uh, it's interesting for all of us uh, who have uh, clients and who do care about uh, our clients. Uh, so uh, uh, as uh, you said, uh, this is uh, just a, conti a continuous story and we will uh, probably keep uh, sharing our experience uh, in that part with uh, both you and uh, our guests. Uh, so, uh, before I uh, dig deeper into the topic, uh, I would uh, like to say a few words about Logate. And uh, first of all, I would like to share the screen with you so uh, it's uh, easier for uh, our guests to, uh, to track. Uh, so, um, I will now uh, open the presentation. Uh, so, um, uh, Logit uh, is a software company, a software development company uh, based in Montenegro, founded uh, in 2006. And since then, uh, we've been uh, developing software solutions, mostly for banks and telecoms. Through these uh, more than 15 years of uh, expertise in this part, uh, we uh, like uh, executed many uh, of uh, implementation projects for uh, many clients coming from, from various industries, but uh, somehow we uh, build uh, our uh, expertise in uh, two verticals. Uh, one is FinTech and one is Telco. So regarding the uh, FinTech part, regarding the banking uh, part uh, of uh, our market and our clients, uh, uh, we uh, really built a complete ecosystem of uh, fintech solution uh, solutions that we build around the core banking system. Uh, so, uh, like the needs of our uh, banking clients uh, really got us to this point to build everything around a uh, core banking system. Uh, for example, the CRM uh, ba banking system, this contact center solution, uh, some solution for uh, mass notification of clients through various communication channels channels, e-banking, mobile banking, and many other like specific fintech solutions for specific needs of our customers. Uh, and uh, of course, Logate is a company which is based in Montenegro, but uh, like uh, last year for our 15th birthday, uh, we uh, also opened a branch office in Vienna, uh, Austria, in order to be more close to our uh, European Union clients uh, as well. Uh, and of course, uh, we employ more more than uh, 70 uh, employees dedicated to uh, continuous uh, development and continuous uh, providing continuous support for uh, all our solutions. Uh, and of course, we are managing more than 20 million uh, accounts uh, on a daily basis uh, through our uh, tools implemented for uh, our clients. Uh, and now, 
this is probably the sentence you uh, are uh, uh, like uh, in position to hear very often, uh, like, oh, guys, we need to provide omnichannel experience or something like this. We need to be on TikTok. It is where Generation Z is. Or artificial intelligence will solve all our problems. Yes, these are all uh, all uh, like market demands. These are all uh, like wishes from the market. These are all uh, points, uh, those edges where our clients are present and they wish uh, to interact uh, with us through these communication channels. But uh, what is uh, on our side? We need to set up all the, that communication in a proper manner. We need to manage all that communication in a proper manner. Uh, if that is not the case, then things like this happen. These are examples, uh, recent examples of uh, maybe uh, an adequate usage of of, in this case, artificial intelligence, but also this can uh, be replicated to uh, any communication channel, uh, any uh, way of communicating which is not proper or uh, not properly planned, to be more precise. And, of course, uh, we always uh, have also a good examples of uh, managing that uh, customer relationships, uh, of uh, providing uh, adequate uh, level of uh, quality level of uh, communication with our clients. And, of course, we uh, pointed out Starling Bank, UK-based Neobank, which is like head and shoulders above uh, the competition, as you can see for uh, this uh, statistic. And uh, what differs them from the competition is that uh, human approach and that support they provide to their clients. So there is a UK-based person uh, on uh, their side uh, that provides you uh, with uh, that provides you uh, with uh, like. Um, uh, with uh, support uh, in case you need uh, to uh, discuss anything further uh, with the bank. And of course, uh, the bank is proud of, implemented, of uh, implementing uh, omni-channel contact center solution that enables them to manage all the interactions uh, with their clients through various communication channels and also enabled their agents to have at one screen, at one page, all the relevant data about their clients in order to be able to uh, like uh, resolve that issue in that first uh, uh, first contact, first call. So uh, what Starling Bank is proud about is the results they achieve regarding the one of the most uh, important KPIs regarding the contact center uh, department uh, arrangement, which uh, is first uh, call resolution rate, which is uh, in case of Starling Bank, very, very high. And of course, uh, to make a parallel, we also develop uh, our uh, own uh, omnichannel contact center solution, which is named Connect. Uh, we started this story more than 12 years ago. And at the very beginning, this was only a call center solution, only voice calls. But uh, the market, the needs of our customers, uh, specifically the banks, because our first clients our first users of these solutions were of this solution were banks in montenegro uh, through all uh, those needs gathering all uh, those needs gathering all that knowledge gathering all that experience from uh, various banks uh, we uh, had the opportunity uh, to uh, collaborate with we created uh, an omni channel contact center software which now consists of uh, not only uh, voice calls, but also from live chat, WhatsApp, Facebook, video calls, SMS, email, Instagram, Viber, and these are not the only uh, uh, available channels. Also in the standard uh, solution roadmap, we added um, many other uh, communication channels which are, which are becoming more and more popular among uh, our clients or among bank uh, clients. Uh, so uh, I would now like to uh, go to a high level uh, solution uh, demo presentation in order to really show you how that 
really works. The solution itself has many, many functionalities, but today I would only uh, uh, like I have uh, only time, uh, uh, we are limited with time, so I can only like point out some main functionalities, uh, some main advantages of the solution. But of course, I would like to say that uh, in case uh, you uh, want to uh, maybe discuss this topic further with us, uh, we uh, are uh, like uh, happy to, to organize uh, like uh, personalized and uh, more detailed demo presentations of the solution after this uh, webinar session. Uh, so I will now uh, switch to a solution demo. And start from login page, of course. Uh, well, uh, before uh, I log in, uh, I would like to uh, emphasize some uh, main advantages uh, of, of the solution, not only of uh, our connect uh, contact center solution, uh, but uh, from uh, like uh, what uh, advantages should uh, every omnichannel uh, solution provide to you in order to be considered as a good one. Uh, on our side, uh, we uh, have uh, like uh, this, uh, uh, the fact that solution is very e easy to use and uh, we uh, got many, many uh, feedbacks from our clients regarding our solution, but uh, one uh, specific feedback that we are very proud of is the use case of Institute of Public Health uh, in Montenegro. Uh, we donated this solution uh, to Institute of Public, Public Health in Montenegro at the very beginning of COVID pandemic uh, in order to enable them to communicate with all Montenegrin citizens at that time. Uh, and uh, the agents in uh, that contact center were students of a medical university uh, in Montenegro, and they uh, changed, uh, changed the shifts uh, like uh, once a week. So every week, new group of medical students came uh, and volunteered as agents in contact center and their feedback was like uh, it takes less than 10 minutes uh, in order to uh, be able to, do, to uh, use all the functionalities of uh, this solution. So that uh, the fact that solution is easy to use is uh, something that we are very proud uh, of. Uh, of course, as I already said, one uh, single omnichannel communication platform which provides uh, all uh, which provides all roles like uh, a supervisor administrator and agents to have all the relevant data that they need in order to do their job properly on one single page once logged in uh, to the solution. So uh, that is also that um, part uh, of the solution which is centralized, which is single platform for omnichannel communication and for managing omnichannel communication is something uh, that is um, also uh, that main uh, like characteristic of our solution. Uh, also, uh, I would like some, uh, I would like to add something that we uh, are uh, proud of in general, not only for uh, this solution, but only, uh, but also for the complete logate approach to uh, our uh, uh, development, to our uh, projects is uh, the fact that we are agile. Uh, so uh, in case there is some specific need uh, of, uh, from your side that needs to be supported by our software solutions, we are here to uh, enable that as well. And of course, uh, we provide a non-stop uh, support for all our solution uh, solutions and of course in, in uh, this specific case of connect we have a dedicated team uh, for constant research and development and uh, support for our clients so uh, that is something that is uh, uh, that uh, like uh, is uh, uh, is shown like a good approach to uh, to uh, this uh, part of our job uh, when when we uh, come to the implementation of our solutions and of course uh, one feedback that maybe uh, is not something uh, that uh, we uh, uh, like we are uh, able to to uh, rate but uh, that feedback is really something that we received uh, often is that that we are. Uh, competitive regarding also the pricing uh, of our solution as well. 
And now uh, I will uh, show you the uh, potential of uh, this solution and uh, uh, I will show you uh, the way how we organized that uh, management of uh, all communication channels and uh, management of all communication with uh, the clients. I would like to say that uh, we also uh, are a company that does uh, uh, sales, that does marketing, that have marketing and sales departments, uh, finance and uh, uh, all department, departments then that the company uh, has. And uh, of course, we also have a need to use uh, such a solution. So this is built up uh, uh, through uh, like uh, experience and knowledge of our client, uh, over all our clients as well as our own uh, experience. So uh, not only the code is the essential part of our solution, but also that knowledge, that expertise, and that uh, different business cases covered through the unique uh, solution. So uh, all of that uh, is uh, available uh, in uh, like a core uh, part of the solution in that as is solution. So I'll now log in as a uh, contact center supervisor. Uh, and uh, I will now, uh, I will start uh, from uh, one uh, of uh, three uh, modules of our solution. This is data dashboard. Data dashboard provides uh, a, a contact center department supervisor with um, a graphic view of all relevant KPIs uh, regarding the uh, efficiency and the uh, operational part of contact center department for a selected period of time. I'll select uh, like February uh, this year and uh, for a team or complete department or specific uh, specific uh, agent. In this case, I will uh, like uh, select this uh, previous month. So uh, I can see uh, interactions by channel, the number of interactions by uh, different uh, communication channels. Uh, I will uh, see the first call resolution rate. Remember, this is uh, the one that Starling Bank is proud uh, of. Call frequency uh, from uh, for inbound and outbound calls. And we uh, come to one of the uh, most important KPIs regarding tracking the efficiency of contact center department, which is customer facing time. Uh, all the agents, uh, agents have uh, some uh, working hours during the day. So this is a percentage of uh, those working days that they really were uh, dealing with customers and uh, managing interactions with customers through uh, various communication channels. Also, average abandonment rate, average classification rate per uh, specific uh, communication channel. And of course, uh, the second most important KPI uh, regarding the efficiency of contact centers uh, department is this service uh, level. Uh, and in our case, versus course, uh, volume uh, service uh, level uh, is uh, the uh, percentage of uh, interactions that uh, have been uh, took by the uh, by the agent in the first 20 seconds of uh, initiate of being initiated uh, from uh, the client side and um, this service level uh, functions uh, in a manner that you set uh, an adequate threshold, for example, the most used one is like 75% or 80% depending on uh, industry and other uh, factors. So, ex for example, if you set the threshold of 80%, uh, you see uh, if uh, more, more or less than 80% of interactions were answered in the first 20 seconds. Uh, of course, we added one additional component in order uh, to uh, make this uh, one more relevant, which is a number of interactions. Uh, why we added the, this one uh, precisely? Uh, well, uh, the practice uh, showed us that there are some uh, days during a month that are more intensive than other days. 
so uh, it's not uh, the same if you achieve that uh, if you uh, achieve that 80% uh, of uh, success uh, in uh, the, some uh, very busy days like first uh, day uh, in month or uh, the last day in a month or some like uh, relaxed day so uh, also that number of uh, interactions uh, we uh, took as a relevant uh, component of this uh, this uh, KPI as well of course we have uh, uh, also all these uh, KPIs, average available time, average idle time, average waiting time before dropping, answered calls, abandoned calls, and uh, also answered and abandoned video calls. And here we have a comparative uh, view uh, of um, all agents uh, in the uh, contact center department regarding uh, all these relevant uh, KPIs. And uh, of course, we uh, have uh, uh, this uh, engagement per channel or this average handling time and average response time per uh, like specific communication uh, channels. I would also like to say that all the data that stands behind all these uh, KPIs and all these graphics uh, also uh, can be exported to uh, some Excel file for purposes of further reporting if that is a need. And in case uh, you uh, like uh, need to recall how the, all these KPIs are really measured, we also insert uh, this uh, short tutorial uh, in order to, to make it more, uh, more clear how uh, all of these are measured. Uh, this is regarding data dashboard. So data dashboard uh, is something uh, that provides you with uh, these statistics, with these KPIs for like uh, history uh, communication. But uh, uh, definitely on a daily basis, you really want to see what's happening at the very uh, precise moment within the contact center uh, department you are in charge of. So in that case, I uh, will open a wall board which shows me a real time, uh, real time uh, like uh, information uh, and data regarding the uh, the job that is done within the contact center department. This is not some error. This is uh, just a alert for me as a contact center supervisor that there was. Uh, there are some interactions uh, which uh, are not being uh, executed and uh, it, uh, it's been a while uh, when they're started. So all of these uh, like red boxes is something that, uh, that uh, alerts me uh, that something is uh, may be wrong or uh, if you uh, see this one I don't have uh, enough operators online in order to deal with uh, interactions now uh, here I can see uh, all the um, information uh, that uh, I might need at this precise moment, the number of missed calls uh, today, missed chat, longest waiting, if there is some VIP client on hold, yes, I see there is one, uh, number, uh, number of interactions per communication channels, uh, and the longest uh, call. And of course, here I have uh, uh, interactions in progress. I see that there is one Viber interaction in progress right now. So uh, in order to like, uh, um, uh, like improve the quality of service in order to uh, provide the, uh, the higher uh, quality level of service provided, I uh, can include to this uh, interaction uh, so that I can listen and uh, neither uh, agent or client can hear me. Uh, I can uh, do this uh, prompt uh, jump to the uh, interaction so that only agent can hear me. And of course, I can join uh, in a conference so that both uh, agent uh, and uh, client can uh, hear me. Uh, so uh, I also see uh, that there are some uh, interactions here in queue. Uh, uh, as uh, you remember, this uh, one uh, VIP uh, on hold. And all, of course, I can see all of these uh, interactions in queue per communication uh, channels. Uh, so uh, I can uh, maybe um, see that there is some maybe a jam uh, here uh, in the queue. So I can uh, react prompt 
promptly and of course um, uh, influence the, uh, the improvement of efficiency of uh, the agents. Uh, also here I can see uh, the status, current status of all operators, uh, if they're online, offline, uh, on a meeting, uh, uh, doing breakfast or uh, anything like that. And of course, as a supervisor of a, a contact center department, I can change their statuses as well. Uh, so uh, this is uh, uh, something regarding uh, this wall board and the, the situation uh, as is uh, at this precise moment. And of course, uh, uh, me as a supervisor of a department, also I have a need for uh, some reporting uh, as well. Uh, so uh, I will uh, also, uh, uh, for purposes of this demo presentation, uh, show you briefly uh, three most important reports regarding the contact center department uh, work. So uh, first one uh, would be interactions report. So I can see all the interactions for the selected period of time with all uh, the with the possibility uh, of viewing all the relevant data regarding uh, this uh, uh, all these interactions. For example, this first one was uh, done through Facebook, so I can see all the details, uh, the content, the, so the, the content of the messages that are uh, done uh, through uh, Facebook. And uh, in case of uh, phone calls, of these voice calls, I can also uh, have a, a recording of, of call as well, as you can see here. So uh, this can be used for uh, further purposes of uh, in most cases of improving the, the quality uh, of uh, providing service to your customer. Uh, next, uh, two, uh, main, uh, next two main reports are productivity report and availability report. So availability report provides uh, us with a, a comparative uh, view uh, of uh, availability uh, of uh, uh, agents in contact center uh, like... Uh, through all these relevant availability KPIs as well. So, for example, I would uh, uh, now uh, uh, go and see what this test agent, uh, uh, how, how much and uh, how often he was ava available today. So I can see all the changes in uh, his status uh, here for this precise date. Uh, and, uh, of course, product productivity report. This is something that shows uh, us the real productivity uh, of uh, agents measured by those like productivity group of uh, KPIs you've uh, had the opportunity to see on a data dashboard. Uh, of course, in case there is a need for more personalized view uh, of all these uh, productivity uh, uh, components, uh, I can also uh, like uh, select or avoid these parameters in order to, to prepare some personalized view and in order to prepare uh, like uh, ex adequate Excel file uh, for maybe some uh, further reporting purposes as well if the report itself is not uh, enough or it's not short enough or uh, concrete enough. Uh, also, the same uh, the same page, the same uh, solution is used for administering uh, the uh, solution. Uh, I would like to say that uh, on the same page you administer uh, IVR, uh, you administer uh, the skills of uh, agents, you administer uh, all the relevant uh, uh, data here, but uh, what uh, I wanted to show you specifically are the uh, campaigns. Uh, so uh, here you can see a list of uh, campaigns uh, and uh, of course uh, you can uh, like create a campaign and you cr uh, can uh, create uh, this predefined uh, list of questions and answers and of course uh, you can choose if it is, this is a checkbox, radio button, text or so uh, it's really a useful tool for uh, predefined uh, campaigns. Uh, uh, and uh, of course, uh, you can uh, always use uh, some data from the, uh, for example, core banking system or CRM or whatever we integrate to, or uh, also uh, for uh, campaign pers 
purposes to uh, import some uh, CSV file in order to have uh, all that data uh, gathered and uh, to launch campaign uh, according to uh, all that relevant data. Of course, uh, in case of a need that to, to send some personalized uh, messages, personalized uh, campaigns to your customers. Also, we provide you with the possibility of that dynamic data. So uh, your your note to, to customer really can can uh, sound like uh, hello, uh, Mark. Uh, we saw that you live in uh, Podgorica, and we saw that uh, you. Uh, I don't know, have a need for some uh, loan or something like that. So uh, everything can be also personalized uh, as well. Uh, so that is uh, regarding uh, this uh, like supervisor and uh, administra uh, uh, administrator part. And now I would like to log uh, in as a, a contact center agent to, uh, to show you how that one looks like. And this one look, looks like this. So uh, I have some uh, inputs on performances of my team and my own performances for this concrete day. And of course, I have uh, here uh, some uh, uh, maybe some uh, or interactions waiting for me. So I'll take this one to show you how it works. So um, there is some Facebook interaction. And I see that it comes from Donna Logate. Uh, and uh, of course, I, I can see uh, all the relevant data about this client, Donna Logate, uh, at uh, this part, uh, in case that this uh, uh, interaction uh, require, uh, requires uh, some uh, involvement, uh, some uh, additional data from, for example, from CRM or uh, from uh, any other uh, solution. Uh, we uh, can also integrate with that solution uh, in that way that we provide agents with the link that leads them directly through to uh, like 360 client view uh, in order to provide them to uh, like jump into the, the CRM solution with no need for additional uh, authorization uh, and uh, in order to have the, uh, that uh, required more, uh, deta more uh, data for uh, resolving uh, this one uh, in case that this one since uh, as you can see this Donna asks me is everything okay with your post terminals uh, in the main Street, that is uh, something which is beyond my expertise as a contact center agent. So in this case, I will use uh, this follow-up functionality. So uh, I will uh, uh, like transfer this one to uh, the colleagues that are experts in this part of service we provide uh, to our clients. So uh, I will uh, now uh, like uh, dedicate this one uh, to uh, to uh, my uh, colleagues and uh, in case uh, so they get this as a task that needs to be executed and uh, when they are done uh, with uh, resolving this problem with post terminals uh, they will notify me uh, in order to contact the client again uh, to uh, say that everything uh, is okay now uh, and of course uh, in, uh, in uh, order to be able to finish this precise interaction uh, I will need to classify uh, it uh, as well. So Donna is a residential customer. There is some issue with credit card, um, was not in this case, but uh, yes. And she was satisfied with uh, with our interaction. So I uh, can save it uh, and uh, finish this one. And now I'm just waiting for another one to jump. Uh, of course, uh, in order to show you how that works from uh, both sides, both client and uh, and uh, uh, like agent side, I will now uh, present myself as a, a bank customer who wants to uh, do a video call with contact center agent. So I'm now uh, initiating the video call. So I'm uh, like preparing some of my uh, documents and I can start a video call. So this is uh, my screen.
from uh, the cl banking client perspective. You will see two Eversimas, but uh, one of them is client, one of them uh, is a contact center agent. So let's start this video call. And I can see it here and an agent who is going to take this one as well. I mute myself. I mute myself uh, here in order to avoid any and here. So um, now I'll start. Um, like I will continue with uh, this uh, video uh, video call. Of course, I can uh, expand it or uh, minimize it. Uh, I can also chat here. But of course, I would like to uh, li uh, link this uh, uh, client with a real person from a uh, core banking system. Uh, and uh, now I'll search and I'll pair. Uh, myself with user Jovan Stanic. And uh, until the system uh, does uh, uh, recognition, I would uh, also uh, like to uh, say hello or something like that to chat. And that is the case. I can always uh, do that one. But for now, I would like to uh, do uh, that uh, video ID verification. So uh, I go here. Uh, and have uh, like uh, a screenshot of my client. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, preview. And I confirmed both of them, uh, and uh, just waiting to to uh, to uh, verification to be completed in order to go to the step two. And now uh, I uh, need to uh, show also my document as well. Uh, so uh, I'll take portrait with uh, with no document. Mm. Closed eyes, okay. And of course, the one with a uh, document, I will use my uh, uh, entrance ID uh, for these purposes of demo solution. So it's like, it, can, uh, it should look like this with real uh, ID documents and in real uh, life. So I'll confirm uh, also uh, both of these and wait. Uh, for verification to be processed completely in order to review and confirm. And of course, I uh, verified my client. Uh, and uh, of, uh, on the side, a client side, uh, he will, uh, he or she will get a notification that verification process ended successfully. Of course, besides this uh, ID uh, verification, uh, we have also OTP uh, verification. So I'll send uh, uh, this uh, one to uh, the, to my phone in order to uh, get the code. And on uh, my side, I'll uh, need to uh, put the code. And let me just check my phone. And Yes, verification process ended successfully. And uh, of course, it, that was a, a precondition for a further communication. We can uh, always uh, continue further communication. And in case I want to uh, like finish this uh, interaction, I would also need to uh, uh, like classify this one in order to uh, save and finish uh, and uh, in order to, to complete it uh like uh, at the very end so uh, as you can see in case you set um, some uh, expected duration of video call or something like that you will uh, get notification that maybe your interaction uh, is uh, like uh, taking too long so you can uh, you should be more uh, efficient uh, or something like that that uh, like notification system which is also behind our solution is something that is uh, really can be powerful in order to like uh, 
point out some uh, like uh, specific uh, maybe issues in uh, doing uh, this part of the job and in order to uh, make you more efficient uh, in uh, providing uh, service to your customers and in uh, managing all these interactions to uh, all of these communication channels. Of course, the same um, screen uh, is uh, like for uh, every uh, other uh, interaction that comes for uh, uh, from other communication channels so you here have email sms chat uh, i have some uh, one waiting you see that uh, that uh, vip client uh, is still waiting so uh, for, for example uh, we don't have uh, we don't have uh, like uh, we don't have uh, time for for him now, but in real life, we should have time for our VIP clients as well. And of course, as you can see, I got an email uh, as well. So now uh, I will uh, I, I will uh, just. Uh, So this works uh, exactly like any other email solution that you may uh, use uh, with all these uh, bold italics, uh, like a link, uh, attachment, uh, paragraph, uh, undo, bulleting, uh, uh, CC, BCC. So like the, the mail solution itself, but no need uh, to go to uh, like email. Uh, everything is done uh, through uh, this solution as well so I'll now just send this to my client and of course again classify this interaction in order to uh, finalize it and uh, uh, do it uh, and, and uh, finish it so uh, uh, of course also uh, I would like to say that uh, one uh, also a, a very interesting functionality uh, that we provide uh, is also that callback so in case that you have like uh, for example, three abandoned uh, calls, uh, three abandoned calls from uh, one single uh, client. Uh, he will uh, be on a list for uh, calling back only once. And uh, in case uh, that uh, be before uh, you uh, manage to call it, uh, once listed uh, before he managed to call it if he uh, calls the fourth time and uh, uh, he really uh, gets into communication with an agent uh, he will uh, be removed from that list uh, so uh, we are preventing uh, situations such as um, like duplicated, uh, duplicated uh, calling of the same client for the same purpose so uh, that is also something that is used for uh, improving efficiency and improving uh, the uh, service quality level uh, as well. So um, like this uh, was a really high level uh, solution presentation. And uh, of course we are available for uh, all your questions or any uh, additional details regarding this uh, as well. Uh, this was like uh, to uh, show you um, how we uh, like uh, provided our clients with uh, an uh, let's say a powerful omni-channel communication platform, which is uh, serves both supervisors and uh, administrators and uh, agents, since the best uh, like customer experience is uh, done through uh, the best possible uh, employee experience. So uh, if we like uh, provide our supervisors, our agents with the powerful tools, then we can really expect also uh, the, uh, the quality and the efficiency in their everyday work. Just a second. Yes, now I think sound is uh, is okay. Thank you very much for a great presentation and demo. I personally liked your solution very much. I wish you know every contact center and every relationship manager could have it. <laughs> Maybe they will come back afterwards. You know when you when you call several times and nobody answers. Uh, all right. Yes, I do invite uh, our attendees to ask your questions uh, in the chat. We can have some uh, extra moment to to to, to answer um, to answer your questions. 
the omnichannel topic is uh, very very important because it's actually becoming uh, becoming a must have it's it's already must have because this um this this line or the barrier between the online and offline is is blurring it's vanishing and sometimes you you even don't understand which channel was for example the the decisive one for the customer acquisition for example and and you know and uh, you don't know to which kpis to put it either to the contact center or to the online sales team or to the relationship manager so only the only channel strategy and the tools as yours for example that provide this opportunity to the banks and to all the financial companies actually to uh, to realize, to implement this omnichannel strategy guarantees actually both the retention of the existing customers and also the, the involvement of the prospects and, and, and attraction uh, of, the, of the new customers. Uh, you mentioned uh, at the beginning of, uh, of, of the demo that your costs are competitive. I wanted actually to ask because I think everybody, when thinking on the omni-channel, think that this is uh, this takes a lot of resources. So my first question to you will be: Which actually resources um, are required for for the banks or for the financial companies to implement such a solution? And probably both on cloud. And if there is a case on the on the premises, and does it does it actually differ uh, on the uh, resources? And let's discuss probably here not only the costs and uh, the money, but also the human human resources needed and the time and time. Uh, well, uh, like just let me check to turn this one. Yes, I uh, think it's better now. Uh, well. Um, um, uh, besides that financial part of that uh, project, uh, first of all, um, the a bank needs to consider uh, the a way of deployment of the solution. Will it be on cloud? Mm -hmm. right? That is something that usually not uh, is dependable only on bank and bank banks' wishes, but only uh, also from some uh, law regulations for re from a market regula regulator or from that like uh, data privacy part, uh, and uh, that is not only bank's decision uh, in many cases. Uh, also, uh, the bank needs to identify. Uh, what are the communication channels that their clients expect them to be available on? And uh, like uh, this, uh, our experience in uh, implementing this solution showed us that maybe uh, some banks weren't uh, aware that their clients uh, want to contact them through Instagram, through Facebook, or something like that. Uh, before they even implemented the solution, once they were uh, like able uh, available on, on these channels as well, well they're, they're, that's where like expansion of those communication channels uh, happened. Uh, so uh, people uh, like we all of us are uh, somebody's clients. Let's let's uh, be honest, and we want to to uh, like. Uh, we want to uh, feel uh, that comfort when when uh, uh, getting some service that we pay for. So if I'm uh, if I uh, use my phone phone nonstop and if I'm on Instagram nonstop, the Instagram, for example, will be the natural uh, like uh, natural yes. communication channel for me, and uh, all the news regarding uh, my bank. I would see on Instagram. Of wow. course, if I'm like my mom, I would like to call and, and speak to to uh, agent. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't rely of, uh, on uh, like artificial intelligence or that uh, chatbot or some uh, or some uh, tools like that. So um, uh, as uh, you can see, uh, also um, uh, new technology really provided us. Uh, with many things, but also provided uh, us with uh, partitioning the clients in different segments. So uh, the, uh, the uh, like com uh, available communication channels really spread the clients. Uh, 
what about LinkedIn? If because you know I'm thinking if we um, communicate with business customers, LinkedIn is one of the important channels. Is it is it possible to to integrate to your solution? Oh, well, LinkedIn, uh, for example, LinkedIn, TikTok uh, are the the uh, like becoming more and more popular for that purposes as well. So, um, uh, of course, they're on our roadmap. Okay. Uh, for or, uh, maybe it's the future BTS because all this generation, yes, that is yes. growing up and, pro and probably the generation alpha, which who are in the kindergar kindergartens now. Yes. All right, but, uh, but what is the fastest, I don't know if we can just define what is the, the fastest uh, or, um, term that, you know, the omnichannel uh, CRM can be implemented in the banks to have some of the, you know, you have some. Well, you have the experience. Our experience, the fastest one was four days for instance, oh, wow. help in Montenegro, but that was a specific case yeah. where we all were like uh, yeah. better, better to work on a contact center solution implementation than to be scared of COVID pandemic. So yeah. it was like work uh, for those three, uh, four days really saved our minds. Mm -hmm. If I like that but the delivery of the solution is very fast uh, just uh, there are some technical prerequisites on the bank side in order to uh, implement the solution for example SIP trunk or uh, like uh, workshop uh, at the very beginning of the project to see uh, with which third party solutions we integrate to uh, besides core banking system and besides CRM and uh, the um, like the implementation itself does not take uh, so long. But what is the average term? Like, you know, a quarter, half a year? I mean, the realistic one. No, uh, like, um, the longest one was uh, two months. But oh, right. all, all available communication channels included, okay. including testing, oh. including uh, uh, all the relevant uh, phases of a uh, mm -hmm. Implement, uh, mm -hmm. implementation project so two okay. months it's like uh... great all right we have a question from lavinia which i will read now uh can i see a client's dashboard with details about all notifications and interactions or this is a solution only for the manager point of view to see the campaigns and team activity <laughs> Oh well, uh, maybe uh, my uh, colleague Jovana can uh, can assist me with uh, this one uh, in order yes. to. Yes. Hello, yeah. this is Jovana Mikhailovich. She's a product lead of uh, our solution, so of course she's the one in charge of, of uh, getting feedback from the market and defining what uh, is the next thing that will be on our roadmap. So maybe she could. Uh, answer better to, to yes. this one as well yes so historically you can see the basic customer information within within the contact center application and you can see all the interactions with the specific customer uh, within the system but uh, uh, and uh, regarding the 360 view and the uh, financial data for example of the customer uh, sales opportunities and the uh, double tickets and reclamations. This is something that is a part, that is meant to be a part of the CRM application. Within the interaction with the customer, this is the data kind of data that we retrieve through integration with the CRM system and that we present to the agent during the communication with a specific customer. And we, there we provide a, a short uh, brief of financial information, the previous travel tickets and everything, where he can see the, the entire history with this customer. And there, uh, I mean, we provide it within the contact uh, center screen, some basic like 10 or 15 fields that are most frequently used. And in addition, if there is a need to uh, provide the entire 360 view, then we provide it through a uh, link uh, to the uh, uh, CRM system. Uh, so basically, uh, we store uh, the contact center related information within the contact center app and uh, the, the other uh, relevant customer information within the CRM. Okay? But so basically, the answer is that uh, within the contact center application, we only store uh, historical data on interactions with the customer. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. All and right. right. I mean, uh, regarding the follow up activities for travel tickets, reclamations, orders, this is something also that we store. Uh, if this was uh, opened through the contact center application, if it was opened directly through CRM for any reason, for example, if the customer uh, went to the branch office uh, to ask for something that would be directly entered through the CRM application and it will not be visible within the contact center application. Mm -hmm. The idea is that uh, a contact center holds all the interactions with the customer that uh, went through voice calls or digital channel and that the that all these interactions are presented there and the, the entire uh, customer life cycle and 360 view the owner of this process is crm mm -hmm. okay thank you very much and lavinia if any other details will be needed we will send the contacts uh, to yefrosima and Giovanna. so you're welcome to arrange uh, a separate uh, maybe call or presentation uh, after the webinar. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your question as well. And uh, maybe to, to wrap up uh, to wrap up this webinar, uh, let's think a bit uh, about uh, about the future. My last question uh, will be to you. So um, at the beginning uh, of your presentation, you uh, mentioned that, uh, you know, today's um, entrepreneurs or customers um, uh, if they contact, uh, let's say, call center, they prefer this human uh, human uh, talk, human chat to talk to talk with uh, with the live person. So this is today. Let's talk uh, about what is going to happen in let's say 10, 15 years when the reality probably will look different because uh, we will have generation that that you mentioned already and also alpha. Uh, which are actually uh, kids now, yeah. So they will grow in uh, in ten, fifteen years, and they are digital native. So um, uh, they will make uh, probably main part part of the customers uh, uh, in the future, and they prefer digital and even and even virtual reality. So um, digital world is becoming more important for them than the physical one, I guess. And uh, how my question to you is: How do you see the development of the CRM solutions in the perspective, kind of the ten years where this will uh, go in the in the context of the of the CRM? And you know, maybe this will be integrated or connected with the metaverse, with some virtual boards or something. How do you see this? Uh, well. Um... We are uh, aware of the fact that um, technology really uh, keeps um, like surprising us very fast. So uh, the uh, some things that we maybe expected uh, in uh, two years are happening right now and uh, at this precise moment. Uh, also, uh, regar uh, regarding this, uh, like human approach versus this artificial intelligence or these new technologies. Also, uh, I would say uh, that um, uh, the agility that I already said, for example, Logate is proud of, is a really uh, 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 like the most important uh, fact uh, when uh, t uh, taking uh, these uh, things into consideration. So uh, the, uh, the more agile you are to uh, like uh, adjust to all those changes, to all those trends, to your new customers who are now, for example, like babies or, or, or smaller kids and will be like, uh, 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 like adults in uh, 10 or 15 years. Um, uh, if you uh, start to think about it, uh, now and if you start start to uh, uh, like uh, uh, consider all those new technologies uh, right now, then uh, let me say like this: in in case that they come to that door, uh, let's assure that you'll be the one that uh, is opening that door from that metaverse side. All right. All so, right. So all right. We, 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 I just <laughs> We visited uh, like a uh, few uh, few weeks ago. Uh, Logate team visited the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. So uh, we uh, like had yeah. many 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 uh, like uh, surprises 
there. So that is uh, that is something that uh, develops very fast, uh, fa um, faster than we can even imagine. Yeah. So uh, just uh, like this is uh, something that is uh, like a tip for for all of us dealing with uh, customers, uh, having clients. Uh, just um, the channels uh, that they prefer, right? Yes. Listen to their needs. Be everywhere. Be like on the edge of that that those communication channels, and uh, make sure that you really uh, support yourself with adequate tools to do so. And uh, that is the best thing you can do uh, uh, in that purposes. Uh, the re the, also, there is some part that depends on your customer uh, customers and their preferences, preferences as well. But be sure that uh, technology is not an obstacle, but mm -hmm. a tool for you. Yeah, yeah, right. Thank you very much, uh, you for Simon, for today's webinar.